everyone welcome to another episode of need to know i'm still bodex today we have um, a nigerian that is now yankee based artist in the house aka chief dj what's going on dj how are you fine thank you yourself oh, i'm good nice. tell us your full name are you a dj like me tell <laughs> are you a dj like me tell yeah. i want to yankee okay. Everybody in the world knows me as if they Can you tell us your journey to the United States? Well, I left when I was like 11. My sisters, my dad, my mom, we all left. So since I was like 11, 12, okay. it's, been like, it's been a minute since I've been out there. Okay, so you're now a nice citizen over there? Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, so we should feel free to apply through you? Of course, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us what has been happening to you over there? I've been working, schooling, music. Oh. School. Oh, you do music? Yeah, I do music. Like, seriously? Yes. Sir. Do you yes. have anyone out now? I have a few out. I have, my first single was called Carlo Joe. Okay. Produced by um, Big H. And the other one was Tolongo, produced by White Boy Production. Oh, really? Yeah, really. In the state? Yes, in the state. But now you're in Nigeria. So what's That's happening here? That's why I came here to push it. Oh, you need to push it. Yeah. So have you seen one or two producers? Yeah, I've, I've seen a few that I'm working, on, working with. Okay. So that we still in the works of everything to go Tell us about. the people you're working with. Well, when I was in New York, I met this guy named Young D. That you don't know him. He produced Samaya's Bum Bum. Oh, okay. That's one of my biggest producers I'm working with now. And, Please, um, hope you're not singing Bum Bum too. Oh, no, no, I'm not singing. Oh, okay. I'm singing my kind of song. All right. Not Bum Bum. So I'm working with um, Kilo Tunes. I met him through my friend, Big Chef. I don't even know Big Chef, but that's my friend. I met him through yes. Big Chef. Oh. So those two I'm working on right now, that's my, my next work. I'm okay, to so work. how did you discover your singing talent? I always had singing talent, you know. When I was in, when I when I was in high school in New York, I used to always do talent shows, sing and dance and all that. So one day I was you guys in, are feeling singing one, day I was, one day I was one day I was in the studio with my friend J Mo. He has a studio in New York too, so it was just chilling, it was all hanging out. And they say, yeah, "I have a beat for you. Let's see what you can do." Wow. I'm like, "Nah." I think you should be a rapper. Get do it. Do it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, no, that's just the way I talk. So. <laughs> the beat came up, but I heard it. I'm like, let me see what I could do with it. And it came out, and it was really nice. You got a couple of thousands of plays in New York. Wow. Like, it gave me shows, interviews, oh. and all that. So that's how it all started. Wow, so I'm sure you came back with some. Um... <clears throat> I came back to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. why did you decide to come back to Nigeria to push your music? Well, like it's, um, it's all about promotion. And I live in New York. I could say like yes, New York is my town. I know, I know. Okay. I have New York on lock. Okay. To make it big in this industry, I have to come to Nigeria. That's what I've heard, and that's what I've seen myself. Oh, okay. I have a friend I always talk mm -hmm. to twenty four seven. Big chef, like I said, he's been telling me, oh, Aya, you know what? Okay. You gotta come back home and do this. They gonna do it for real. You can't be in New York. You gonna have a New York base, and that's it. You need to spread your wings out and fly. All so right. let me just right. come out here and try All my right. luck and see what's up. Okay. So tell us about your parents. Are they down with this your career? Yes, my, my dad, my supporter, is always posting on his, on his um, BBM kitchen. Oh, my first, oh. my son's song, my son this, my son that. <laughs> so he's really supportive. Oh, my okay. mom is always praying that he was for you, let it be yours. Even not dead. Oh, okay. So. At the beginning of this interview, you mentioned Lapite as your son. Yeah. Is it Lapite or Lagbite? No, Lagbite. Okay, mm -hmm. I actually know somebody that bears uh, that name. Before she got married, she's Tolu Afolayan, the only <laughs> wife. To Kunle Afolayo. I want October 1. I want figurine. I want, All that good stuff. I don't know. So, yeah. are you her brother? <laughs> yeah, I'm her brother, yes. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Oh, so you, you're Kunle Afolayo's in law? You Junior just, in law? Yeah, yeah, small in law, yeah. So, do you go as in posture? <laughs> oh, yeah, or you just do your nigga thing? No, no, I do that. I have to are respect you serious? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Kunle, you have a lovely boy in the house. No, in law. Yeah. But please don't take him for granted too. You still need to pay dues. Yeah, so tell us about Kunia Falaya. Well, he's a very busy man. He's also a very nice person. So okay. all I know is that he's always working, he's always grinding to get better. Does he smile at all? Yeah. yeah he's always frowning. No, he's like I say, you have to have that face when you go outside. Oh, As really? a celebrity, you can't always be smiling. Are you guys very close? We're working on it. Yeah. We're working on being close. We we go. <laughs> I mean, it's it's older than me. I can't I can't wanna be so I have to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't just be like, yo, what's up? I have to Yeah. I'm sure you know he's a big brand in Nigeria. Yeah. So you should just marry him. I'm just trying. I have, to, well, I have to earn it. Yeah. Okay, we'll you be say. right back. Yeah. My boss, see you, baby. My boss, see you, baby. My boss, see you, baby. Welcome 
come back, still on, need to know with our Yankee star artist, Chief DJ. How did you come back about Chief DJ? Are you a titled man? Um, that's, that's the funny part. Where is that? That name came out with my friends when I was in school. Okay. Being an African person, they watch all this Nollywood and it's Chief Chief. Everybody's Chief. Oh, okay. okay. Just give me that title Chief and I just like, oh, I just, I just stuck with it. It's so not, you like it? Yeah. So tell us, how long does it take you to come up with the lyrics for your song? Uh, it depends on the mood. The lyrics okay. comes, I can see right now, I can sing about you right now if I want okay, to. Okay, please do. Let me, let me process for a little for a okay. second. <clears throat> I'm a gay, 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 reggae lewa. So my bee, so my bee, so my bee, I'm a gay, come be my Cinderella. I'm all, I'm loving your swagger. If I do, yeah, cause me trauma. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all. I think you should go and see Pasuma. So tell us, who are the artists that you look forward to doing the collaboration with? Um, First of all, um, King Bado, Alamede, definitely one mm. I look up to in the industry. Um, so you like... I love yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. I have his album. I bought the album. <laughs> okay. Um, so. I also like to do a song with LAX. Okay. And um, what's, I'm working with Toby Gray too. She's a very talented person and she has a very nice voice. I actually okay. working the song with her right now, working on it, produced by Young D. So hopefully that comes out good. And there's a few others. Everybody has talent. So it yeah. depends on yeah. what kind of song they want to do. You want to do okay. the Sanko, you go with him. I want to do the. Yeah. You know, everything has different kind of things. Okay, okay so that's your stay. favorite food. What do you enjoy eating? Since I've been here, I endure me. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, definitely. I think they should endorse you. <laughs> endure me, endorse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like endure me a lot. All right, so if you're not doing music, what else would you love to do? Working. Helping people out. I'm a psych. I'm a psych degree, so I'm a psychologist, kind of. So I'm, I could oh, okay. help the people, helping them out, the life and all that. So. Okay. So if you're made the president today, what would you change about Nigeria? Everything. <laughs> like what? I'm sure you don't want to change me. Please, I want to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't change it. Um, the economy is really bad. Like a dollar, one dollar is two twenty. Two twenty-five. 225. Yeah. That's that's horrible. I mean, I mean that's good for me because I'm actually my money and there's a, there's a lot more for me. But <laughs> it's it's flushing is bad, you know. When I it's a lot for so that's really bad. I work on it for sure. Okay, have you been able to attend one or two events since you came back to Nigeria? What kind of events? I don't know. Any yeah, events that do with music that you have to meet people. Yeah, I've been to a couple of events with Big Chef. Like I said, it's always okay. that's my right, that's my right hand man. We always together. So right. I've been to a few of them. So yeah. where do you see yourself in the next four years? Next four years, I see myself being up there, one of the best. Up where? Up, still getting better. You know, because you never, you never, you're okay. never perfect. Yeah. Still working on my craft, getting better on my craft. You know, hopefully by that time, I'm I'm big enough. Yeah. But like I say, you never get better. You never stop practicing, never stop learning. So. Okay, now tell us your itinerary. When you wake up, the things you do. When I wake up. Okay. I brush my teeth. Okay. I drink water. Okay. I take a shower. Okay. I eat breakfast. This is for weekend. So you don't pray. Of course you pray. That's that's. But you didn't say it. What to... if somebody is looking up to you? Uh, you to, say, when you wake I up, brush. you pray. Okay. You say, Baba God, thank you for waking us up today, you know. <laughs> you pray, and I eat, and I'm eating. I call up my friends, what's up? What are we okay. doing today? If they say nothing, I stay home, I watch African Magic. Okay. If not, I watch Ip TV, I watch all this, you know, music stuff. Yes. yes. When that's done, around 6, 7, I call my friend. Anything else, what are we doing? We hang out, chill, we talk music, go to the studio, we relax, we hang out. Okay, so what's your advice to people who do not have this privilege you have been here now? Mm -hmm. And apart from that, being a Kuli of Alliance in law, do you understand? Right. So, what's your advice? This guy keep working hard, nothing comes easy. You know? okay. I'm still working hard, even though I'm Kuli of in law. That doesn't stop me from working hard as the next man. I have to keep working hard. Okay. You're not, you're, you're not going to say, I take, I give it to you. Yes. That's my Kuli of Alliance. I'm not going to say it. You have to work, you have to earn it. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to work hard to earn it. So hopefully by the time I earn it, I get respect. So it can help me out what I gotta do. Okay. So what do you have to tell your upcoming fans? That I'm still coming. I'm working hard. I'll get there one day. Just keep praying for me. So I'll be there soon. And what's your take on bloggers? 
bloggers are hard, man, but you need them in these days, man. You need them, but they're very hard to come along. Every blog wants to take money for everything. You want to post a song, you have to pay this amount of money. I'll be upcoming, how can we, you know, <laughs> afford all that? I tell you, pay for this, pay for that, money is finished. Oh, really? So, that. So take take it easy, please take it easy on us. Bring the money down some more. You're a blogger, innit? Yes, I am. And uh, please, eh? In it. And, and I'll collect my own money too, in it. Yeah, of course not. And I will still charge you. No problem. <laughs> anyway, it. we've come to the end of this episode with Chief DG, all the way from Yankee. Until next time, stay entertained.